Last salmon come and it's muck. This happened. Ken. I'm doing me best. I know. So what's up? I don't know what you're talking about. We used to talk about you, Nim. Connie and I were friends. Piss off. Let's go to bed. I loved Connie Smith. Would, uh, would you like to go for a drink? That's bribery. It's corruption. I'm locked on. He's asked us out for a drink. I've never been this close to someone as beautiful as you before. Bollocks to the lads. Careful, girl. Stop them. Let's go home. Shaft them. Both of us home to your home. Redundant. It's all explained. Not too painful, I hope. Oh, by the way, John. Sorry. to relax. Piss off. Right. <laughs> oh, double bollocks. Pillock. Soft bloody game this is. It's hurting me hip any road. I was bloody duff carrying on as though nothing had happened. We should have gone straight down to social security. Straight down. Give me a yo, yo. All right, Boxy. Hurry, Bert. Hurry, lads. Go to bed. Aye. I thought the doctor told you to lay off that sort of stuff. Oh, bollocks, man. I was here. That's not wrong with us. Two pun. Bloody hell, Foxy. The whole idea was we had to go on the range, then we had breakfast. No, oh, so that man, I can't do no energetic. I've got me health to think about, you know. Have you forgot about it last night? All for one and one for all. Well, I'm here, aren't I? I thought the young stud was supposed to be here. He swore he would be. Never came home. Not after the chip shop, he says, I'm just nipping back for a pickled egg. Last I saw him. Hope his bloody knob drops off. I hate letting folk down. Is that right? Oh, come on, John. I'll make the effort. Oh, Marie. Again, a bit quicker. What? Christ, Marie, we've been at it ages. It's been killing me. You've already more than once. I know I've told you it's normal. The man hangs on till the woman gives the nod. Ganging first. Well, don't look at me. I'm not ganging in first. I want to find out what happens. I'll go first. Don't be bloody daft. Well, there's no toad, man. All you have to do is sign on the dotted line. Come on, Foxy. There's got to be more to it than simply scrawling your name. What are we doing here? We don't belong here. Lads. I got held up. Traffic, you know. Oh, I put his hand down your wire front just as you're about to go out through the front door, did it? Yeah, don't you worry, Jono. Perfect timing. In fact, they've just shouted at first and to go in. Aye, I heard that. John? <laughs> I couldn't resist putting it on. It was pretty gorgeous. Yeah, you're not having an affair, are you? Dyer. Do I look like a man putting it about on the sly? Why not? I'd have you. See you later. Bloody bin men? There's interviews this afternoon. Dust bin men. It's up with you. But why did they sack us so next sodding day we can start up again? Well, who bloody cares, man? Shit, it tests me. It's not right. Oh, stop worrying, man. We've landed on our feet. We haven't got to sign on, no. How much are they paying? 147 quid for a 41 hour week. You what? Bloody hell. We get more than that now for less hours. Well, I'm all for it, mate. I mean, I don't care if it costs a few quid. 
I'm not coming down here again. Doc, we should have called in the union straight away. I said so. I mean, they could negotiate for us. I can negotiate my own sodding layoff. I want union to fight management. I thought that's why they got invented. Ken, what else can we do? <sighs> Got a call. You what? Proper. They called me. What, them on the board? Yeah, company have taken over. The Belgian. Foddy? Yeah. Said uh, they were looking for workers. Students. Got my name off the files. But what do they want to take students on for? They haven't filled full time jobs yet. Hey, lads. Oh, Tony. Hi, boys. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your attention, please? Who's he? How the hell should I know? My name is Brian Forger. I'm the operations director of Propre UK Enterprises. I'm delighted to welcome you to our new site. That is he the gaffer. Shush. Now, we are now in charge of cleansing services in this area. Of what? And we're recruiting today for our new workforce. Now, thank you all for coming. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Shush. What about? I don't know. Just let them know we're on the ball. Very good. Now, we want to clean up around here. Now, with your help, that's exactly what we'll do. What the hell is he doing here? Coordination of this depot will be handled by our area manager, Mr. George Ward. He wouldn't bloody dare. George, how are you? Christ. Right, if you can form a queue, we'll see you as quick as we can. Don't worry. We'll keep things nice and informal. Neville Singleton's employee interface, Brian. I put the details on the hard drive. So, you've been in the bins for how long? 32 years. Well, it's an excellent record. Ah, oh, you'd think so. And how long until you retire? That depends on you, don't it? 25 years. Yeah. Yeah, started on the wagons in Newcastle. Long distance. Yeah, packed that in. Came down here. Been here ever since. How's your health? Big pun. You've had no major illnesses in recent years? Well, no, an aspirin hasn't shifted. So, how long have you been in the bins? Two years on and off. Though I am settled now, you know, it is a career for me. I've no intention of jacking it all in now I'm trained up, going off to do something else. I'm pleased to hear it. Our workers are our investment for the future. Propre is a progressive company. Management operates an open-door policy, and all comments and suggestions are welcome. Magic. But we're not a workers' cooperative. We will be introducing new working practices, new directives, and we expect them to be followed. Failure to do so will result in a breach of contract and well, you will dismiss yourself. Is that clear? Definite. Actually, I've been in favour for a shake-up round here for a long time. <laughs> How's your health? Strong as an ox, he runs around. Uh, can you run? Can you fight? I'll run your tongue at me arse and fight for breath then. <laughs> I'm a good lad, I am. Could do with a few more like me down the depot. Like shit of a shovel, me. Mr. Green, Propre is a progressive company. Management operates an open door policy. It's Wednesday. Waste of time, Brian. You'll do whatever we tell you, won't you, Bernard? Yeah. I'm a good lad. This is really only a formality. How long have you been in the bins, incidentally? 14 years. Excellent. What? Uh, good job we got something for you. You only qualify for a grand redundancy. And one has to be realistic. I mean, if we could afford the full amount for everyone, then there would be no need to reduce the manning levels. Still, need more about that one, Ken. Married, local, healthy, I know. No skiving. One or two disciplinary hiccups out on the round. Uh, police call on one occasion, brawling with a school lollipop man. Mostly it's been aggro of one kind or another. September 1981. Are you a union member? What? What? 
Uh, Ken's all right. Nev's the one to watch for that. Hey, hang on. Please. Proper is pro-union. You can belong to whichever union you like. Good. But we will only negotiate with our workforce. Because our deal is with them. It's not with the union. Can't argue with that. A sign on the dotted, Ken. Hundred and twelve quid a week? He said hundred and forty-seven. Yeah, well, uh, you're low grade, Ken. You're working the ship wagon with Malk. The ship wagon? No chance. Well, Mr. Ward said you'd get the job done in half the time. Oh, Mr. Ward would say that. It's sodding death on there. I'm not doing it. I want my old job back and I want the full wage. Oh, Christ, it's piss poor as it is. You're not doing yourself any favours, Ken. I don't care. You've taken the rest of the lads back, no trouble. How come I'm the one getting the special treatment? What are you going to do? Carve a notch on the side of your desk? Ken, a grand won't go far. Hey, I wouldn't work for you if you offered me a million quid. Look, Mr Andrews, you're giving us no option. All the years I've done this job, day in, day out, up to me elbows in shit, this is the first time it's felt dirty. You can bollocks. I'd sooner stop at home. Six to one, Balaxia and Kudigeni, the French filly. Seven to one, Lemon Souffle, who goes to the race without a previous... Maybe I should say something to Ward. There's nothing wrong with the way that Ken works. It's not a charity they're running down the depot. What do you mean? Well, they've got to be efficient, aren't they? Run things smoothly. Almost like Ken. What about him? Well, I've read all about it, how it used to be. I'm telling you, there were old ladies freezing out on the streets because the ambulance men want to greet some deal or other. And there was shit blowing up all over the place. He even had to get the army in, because bin men went on strike. This new like they want lads who work hard. And if you do, you're all right. But if you're a troublemaker, you're not. That's fair enough. Oh, right, my shot. No, I'm not bothering. What? I want to get off. We'll have another one, man. I'm going down to Bricklayers, if you like. I'm not fussed. Yippee-i-yay. Yippee-i-yo-yo. It means you can't ever complain. Of course you can, but within reason. I mean, this is England. People don't reckon it's fair. They want to bugger off to China or wherever. See how they get on over there? Soon get your bollocks chopped off. Look, a man without ambition is already dead. Well, that's what Forger said to me, and he's right. I've got ambition, and so's this lass I've met. We've got plans. Now, that wouldn't have meant sod all a few years ago, but now, thanks to the proppers of this world, no matter where you're from, what school you went to, as long as you graft hard, you get rewarded. That's progress, if you ask me. Shit. Have you got 50 pay, can have? Come on, it's bloody ridiculous, all this. You lot traipsing about after me. It's like a bloody funeral procession without a coffin. Anybody want one? Bottle of the dog. Lemonade with straw, da. Ken? No, I'm getting off. Why, what's up with you? It's hard to get things done with a five-man bodyguard. Hey, we stick it to you like glue. In case you start acting the silly bugger. There's no need. I'm fine. I'll see you around. You both, hey? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, good boy, hey. Hold on, where is he? Ken, fancy you come down here? Eh? <laughs> I live here. I told him it looked familiar. I'm not going to chuck me under any buses if that's what you're worried about. Why, well, you're right, there's plenty doing, Lee. See how I get on, eh? Just knowing where to look. I'll keep my eyes open. Post office is good, you know. At Christmas, I always got work. Right then. You sure. Uh, what are you going to do this time? Slide down the chimney? Look, I told you, I want to get on. I mean it. Thanks for company. Well, you know where we are. Bloody right, I do. So what time we started? Look, give us a ring this afternoon when you've done your calls. Let us know you've got on, all right? Yeah. Don't be late in the morning. They've given us the boot, Bernard. Me and all. 
No, you're going back, aren't you? Not if you're not. One for all, isn't it? One for all, and all for one. You explain, will you? Just here on the right hand side. Oh, Just, it yeah. That's it. That's it, yeah. Mm. Thanks. That's perfect. Aim for perfection, settle for excellence. What? Oh, sorry, the new man at work. Been locking horns with him. Bit of a whippersnapper. One or two interesting ideas, though. Anyway, I've had a great night. Good. So have I. I'll get off then. Is there, um, somebody waiting up at home, keeping the home fires burning? Um, I was seeing this bloke who got arrested for robbing a 7-Eleven store in America. And he's in prison. Are you, um, well, I mean, you never mentioned. No, I, uh... Never found the right one. But the one. thing is, right, I'm not being funny. It's just that now's a bad time, <laughs> you know, for coffee and that. But I would like to see you again. I do like you, you know. You're the kind of bloke I've always wanted. Only now's bad. Besides, you've got to be up at the crack, haven't you? Get them rolling. <laughs> <laughs> they can't start without the boss, man. No, I don't suppose they can. <laughs> Try not to get anything on it, all right? And the next one, here we are, wearing with pride. I didn't know we were to get uniforms. Otherwise, I wouldn't have washed these. <laughs> what can I do you for? Eh? What size? 48. Mm. In centimetres? I don't know. I only know pounds, shillings and pence. <laughs> Large. God. Has this bloke got shares in a salt powder company or something? Bloody graveyard round here. It's about to take a while to settle. Smart! There are other words. Fancy a cup of tea, Nev? No, no. Tastes like piss. This chicken soup? Aye, oh, tastes like chicken piss. Besides, you know, I don't think we should be wasting our time. I mean, not with management working hard on shop floor. Mind you, he really should watch his back. He is lifting three or four of those uniforms at the same time. You bloody crazy man! We'll never finish all this lot! You're asking us to do our role and then pull in what Eric's crew used to do! That's very funny. You've got four weeks to suss out what you're doing. After that, the shit hits the fan. Any foul-ups and council can penalise us. Four weeks? We could have a five-year settling-in period. We'd still not shift that lot, man. Look at that. You're forgetting. We're one man short. We've got no Ken. You can't do that. We'll be up till midnight. As long as it takes. We've given the public guarantees. Be reasonable, will you? It is reasonable. If you work at a reasonable pace, you'll get everything done. If you piss about, you won't. It can't be done, man! It can! I've seen the figures! Prat. Shit. Hang on. Maybe it looks worse on paper than it really is. It's an attitude of mind. Let's give it a chance. Come on. Super crew! Aye! Super crew! <laughs> Foxy! Is that 
I've seen you in here. Been a bit busy. Been too knackered. Even Bernard started shying out bollocks every time we stop. Well, you get what you deserve. You see a bloke unbuckling his kecks and squatting down above you, you don't know to stop him. You can hardly complain when he starts shitting on you. Oh, come on, Ken. So what are you going to do? Packing it in. You what? Well, it's not long till I go back to university. I'm not the only one. Nev's had enough, so's Foxy. You can't throw in the towel. Why not? I don't like being taken advantage of. You just can't, because... because you can't. Have you got no balls, any of you? Oh, bloody hell, Ken. I hate to state the obvious, but where have you been the last few weeks while we ought to have been giving the finger? I'm sorry, Ken, I'm... shag-tied and bruised to buggery and I don't need telling to get stuck in. Especially by a bloke standing on the sidelines. Oh, what, well, you think I should have put my foot down? Shook me fists. I've stood round bonfires with a piece of card stuck to a bit of two be one. And I froze me knackers off doing it. No one takes a blind bit of notice. You can be subtle. Subtle. Find out what the problem is with Ward. You know, say you put it right. Say anything, just get back on the round and then change things. Subtle. Yeah. Doing? It's gone midnight. Oh, sorry, love. I'm uh, sorting some stuff out for Nev. I said I'd run it round. What, now? Yeah, he needs it first thing. I'll not be long. Oh, well, try not to make a noise when you come in. I've got to be up at five. Polishing, is it? Or are you doing an early, early down the chippy? I tell you what, have you thought about a milk round? You know, if the factory let you come in half an hour later... Ken, I'm scared. A thousand. It's nothing. I'm getting sorted. Yeah, I know. But it's been a month. 
Nothing seems to be happening. It will, all right. Look, I'm getting my sense straight. I'm OK now. Ken, I want you to come and get checked with me at the hospital to see if we can have a baby. You what? Well, I think there's something wrong. I've been to see the doctor. He told me to wait, but my period... When? You never said. I'm worried, Ken. Well, you're being daft. He's right. You ain't giving it a chance. No, I've got a feeling. What feeling? Not a feeling, that's all. Christ, Ken, bloody stick by me. Like you have me. I don't mean that. I... No, I don't want to put any more pressure on you. Well, that's up to you, innit? I mean, up to now, you've been a bloody saint. I couldn't ask for any more. Well, how do you want me to be? Honest. Tell me you like it. You like coming home from your different jobs and giving me my pocket money. You like me out of work because it leaves you running the show. Well, I tell you, it doesn't run to you booking me in down the quack so they can tell me I'm firing blanks. It's just a few tests. Why are you being like this? Because I'm sick to death of you being so bloody reasonable all the time when we both know what we should be doing is rowing. Oh, stop feeling so bloody sorry for yourself. Oh, I feel how I piss in like. Yeah, you will, won't you? You treat everyone the same. You treat them all like dirt. Oh, except for a few of your bloody workmates who seem to have gotten under your skin. I'm your wife, Ken. Why won't you be like that with me? Why won't you stick up for me? I'm your pissing wife! Potted meat. Oh, we had that Tuesday. Ken, I'm not made of money. Well, what you got in here? What? Oh, hey, bloody hell, on. John, that's a bit more like it. Hey, we'll have a decent afternoon with this. Give it here. I'm not bothered any road. I'm not stopping. Why not? I'm going to get my job back. Wasting your time. You're marked, same as me. Oh, I. So what are you going to do, then? Sit here the rest of your life and keep taking today's surprise package back to the missus till your money runs out? Come on, John. They forced you out. Forced your way back in. They can bollocks after what they've done to me. That's what they want. Roll over and die, boy. That's Gibbo's trick, innit? Come on, you're worth more than that. Sodom. I'm not grovelling to Ward. Just get a toe in the door, John. No matter what, get back to work. Ward is a big, <laughs> fat wanker. <laughs> Subtle. Who's a wanker? <laughs> ah, chef's a bastard, right? Coming on like bloody Hitler. Hey, who's a wanker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking Ward. It's got to be Ken, that, isn't it? Why? Because every other bugger's denied it, except you. We all know you can't spell. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ward. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward? Hey, hey, Mr. Ward. Hey, Mr. Ward. You turned your intercom off yesterday. Did I really? Well, hey, no, man. I must have caught it Mr. getting Ward. up the cab. I want continuous contact. I want to know where you are and what you're doing. Fair enough, man. Today's the day, if you've forgotten. You drop a bollock today and the council will put it on record. It'll cost us money. So make the bloody effort. Mr Ward, hey, hey. can I have a word? Mr Ward. Hey, now, what's the matter with you? And you've got no pride in your work. Yeah? What's the wanker, Mr Ward? Well, at least you're not a big, fat wanker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lads. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Operation Walter, Mr. Ward. Oh, oh, the land that time forgot. Annika Bloody Rice couldn't get Walter to hand over his rubbish. <sighs> Those inspectors of yours, council police, they're like the bloody Inquisition. I'm here, aren't I? Giving you the nod. We promised a complete clean up. We said we'd shift all the outstanding rubbish in them little leaflets. I did not write them little leaflets. Plus, there's a bonus. What about it? I'm glad to know what it looks like. We had crap one since we started. How are we going to make any sodny money? You tell me. Try printing the bastard stuff, like. Oh. Oxy, Operation Walter underway yet? You change your mind? Over? Everything understood. The council are sending inspectors over this afternoon. The whole premises needs to be spotless. 
They find that place looking like a tip, you'll copper it where the sun doesn't shine. Aye, aye, aye. We'll see what we can do. Over. Oh, come on. We've got to just do it. Be positive. Let's go for it. Bloody pointless. He's a nutter. Anyway, Walter is very possessive about his rubbish. You know that. <laughs> Mr Ward, you there? Over. What? Eh, uh, what's the situation with insurance? You know, dog bites and that. Is it the same as it was with the coat? What are you talking about? Well, Walter, he's got those uh, dog things, you know, like little horses. The large would have bit... I don't care. I want his rubbish. We need a plan, that's all. I mean, remember what Forge said? Be masters of our own destiny. It's madness. They can't get done. Look at all these defaults. Guy, you're proper as man on the council. The last thing I need is your lot hauling me over the coals. I shouldn't think Forge would be too pleased if he suddenly found out you were lining up with the enemy. Don't threaten me, George. Mr Ward! What now? All right, Mr Ward. We've got a volunteer. Hello. Get stuffed! Go on, piss off! You didn't think you're getting it because I feel sorry for you. Being three sheets to the wind doesn't give you the right to robbery. Won't it? Shut off! It costs money, you know, all that packaging. 70 p for washing up liquid. What about the plastic bottle? You reckon they throw that in for free, do you? Do they stuff? I've paid for every last bit of what's out there, and I'm keeping it. Can I see your budgies? Please. Now go in. The decoy's going round the side of the house. Over. Christ, it stinks in here. He told me this job was a piece of cake. You set up on a nice big stick. Right up my street, remember? Well, it doesn't work. How's it going? Uh, Brian, uh, not too bad. It's all taking shape now. It was the lads. Uh, the new system was confusing them, thick as pig shit. Uh, but they're beginning to get the hang of it now. Good. Excellent. One man's crisis is another man's opportunity. Wouldn't you say so, George? You farted. I have not farted. Yes, you have. That's one of yours, man, I can tell. You always try and slip a sly one in when we get your way smelly. I think I'm going to be sick. It stinks a bit in here, Mr. Ward, but don't you worry. We'll not let you down, all right? Over. I never had you doubt as a budgety girl, man, Bernard. Oh, I... have my own. Call him Troutman. They're my favourite animals, don't care what you say. We're now removing Walter's refuse. Over. This is bloody ridiculous! I love them birds. They're not like humans. They won't shit on you from a great height. But I'm stuffed if I'm having them cooped up in some poxy cage in front room. It's bloody barbaric, that is. Right. <laughs> Foxy, are you there? Turn that bloody thing off, will you? You'll, you'll disturb Walter. I'm here. I'm just, I'm just placing you down on this bathtub. So you don't blow your cover. Over. <laughs> you give them the equipment and they can't use it. <laughs> Foxy, come in. Foxy, have you turned this thing off? Are you there? Foxy! What was that? I never wanted to. They made me! You miserable bastard! Foxy! You've no bloody interest in my birds! Start the bloody wagon! How could you? If that's the way you want to play it! Bloody hell! Make it! Alfred! George! Reason with him, don't run! <laughs> Christ, do something! 
To err is human, George. To forgive is entirely dependent on recent results. It's lovely, isn't it? John bought it me the other day. Is he coping all right? Seems to be. What about you? Well, fine, you know. Hell of a shake-up. Still, nothing we can't deal with. John said. Oh, <laughs> the council. Let me know we're not living up to our usual high standards. Oh, can I get you a cup of tea? Uh, no, thank you. I've not got long. Just a quick word with the old man and I'll be on my way. Is he coming home? Sorry? Only he never mentioned when he went off this morning. Normally, uh, if he's coming home early, he tells me. There's nothing wrong, is there? Oh, no. No. No, I thought he, uh, I thought he said he'd be, uh... Diane, it's only me. Uh, you did say, didn't you, John, this morning, in the office, that you were coming back for your dinner today? Or am I imagining things? You, uh, couldn't get us both a copper, could you, love? Thanks, sir. Get out of my house. Don't be like that. I've just told a fib on your behalf. She's a good woman. I'm not having her worrying. Now, just piss off. I don't want you here. I've got a job for you. What? Been having a chat with Forger. He wants us to reinforce one or two areas of our operations. I thought of you straight away. Doing what? MBWA. Management by walking about. We need a man on the spot with the lads. You can start this afternoon. You're a cheat. You cheated at them bids, and then you cheated me. John, you're getting one of those selective memories. I never knew the lads would get fired. Oh, yes, you did. You knew, but you put yourself first. Nothing wrong with that. If there's one thing people have in common, it's the depths to which they'll sink. I just hate it when everybody pretends it's otherwise. So get off the high horse and tell me what you're going to do. I've just been promoted, love. He's gonna show me! I lied to him! He's gonna show me! Bernard, I promise no one's got a gun. They're not allowed here. He's a bloody nutter! He's gone, honest! Have a look! I don't care! He's gonna be trolling! That's it! That's it! You can all bollocks! I'm handing my notice the minute I get back. There'll be no soddy need. Speed we've gone this morning, the bloody cars will be out waiting. Can't go any faster, Jono. Who can? Bloody hell, son. I can only go so fast. A few of the old ones changed up a gear. Hey, have some respect. I mean, look at him. I said, look at him. He's just done the sodding 440 yards with the hound of the bloody Baskerville. He has recently come out of hospital. And he happens to be your bloody father. All right, lads. Stop for a bit of dinner. What are you doing here? I'll pass it. Thought I'd a five minutes chat with you. Got no chance. Quick sandwiches straight off. Can't do that. Gotta wash your hands first. What? What are you talking about? What are you doing here? Dinner? You what? We'll have to stop and get a wash before we have our dinner. Rules. Your own regulations. You should be over by the brewery. It'll take you another half an hour to get back there. I know it's a bugger, isn't it? But what do you do? Perhaps you should have a word with Mr. Forget. Ah, it's all that EEC stuff. You know, what a uh, proper pledge that they bring in, environmentally right way of doing things and that. You must remember. Your own regulations. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry, am I banned? Oh, I was just uh, getting a lift, you know. I want you back in that round, now, all of you. Or you're out of a job come this evening. Ken, I bloody told you. 
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ward, I don't like to poke my nose in or anything, but it's, uh, well, it's official, like, you know, it's all them, um... Euro regulations. Aye, that's right, it's all there. Yeah, I've been down the library, you know, I tell you, it's bloody great what you can find out down there. They've got this microfilm thing, right? Leave it, I'm not talking to you. You have no business here, do you understand? I do understand, yeah. Do you? You're bloody bollocks. See you, lads. See you, Ken. See you. So, uh, we'll just have ten minutes with the Imperial leather, if you don't mind. Oh, lad. It is bloody crazy, isn't it, really? I mean, all these years we've never bothered, and now all of this. Still, rules are rules, aren't they? Jono. Yeah? That's you done. What? Sorry, cutbacks. I might be able to get you in the odd day here and there. I'll give you a ring. Hey, what do you mean? Finished. I'm restructuring. Uh, if the rest of you lads want Hang to... Hang on a second. Has this got anything to do with us having a wash? Don't be ridiculous. It's ongoing. This I lad... was going to write to you, but seeing as you nip back for your dinner... My lad works his bollocks off on this road. I'm very grateful. Now, if the rest of you lads want to crack on, uh, John, as we said, keep in contact. Hang on, I'm fast as stay. I go like the clappers. He doesn't all. Yeah, well, you were the last in. What about me? You're temporary. Or have you given up any ideas of going back to college? This ain't fair. I've done my bloody best to get this sodding round done. Listen, pal. My lad hasn't put a foot wrong. What gives you the right to sack him? Yeah, so... just answer me that. Read your pissing contract. Shoot it! Right, 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 leave it! Right, right, leave it! What's happening? Where's Fox going? Uh, Brian, I've had to. Uh... He sucked him! What? <sighs> Get him back. He is your most effective worker. But, Brian, Mr. Parry's wage. I mean, my budget's only so big and we do need him, we agreed. We do need him. And we also need our best workers. Now, you will absorb Mr. Parry into your current spending and you will reappoint Mr. Fox. You will also see about running an excess. What? The council's not going to back down. We have to target certain streets. Wagon's rather underused, wouldn't you say? Ah, oh, Brian, something's cropped up. George, I make a decision. You implement it. If you don't like the arrangement, get out. Oh, well, hang on, let's have a look. Now, excess. Can't lift that, you'll give yourself a hernia. Right, anyway, it's got what's it on it. Yeah. What? Yeah. European law definition of waste. Any bin containing human or animal ordure need not be lifted. Animal what? Shit. Anyway, tabby crap. Tabby crap! Tabby crap! Tabby crap! 
Rules, rules, rules. Rules, rules, rules. rules. I don't know, we're going to have time to learn them all. Can you let us have ten minutes, Ted? I'll be in the cellar. Thanks. Marie! Where is she? How oh, could you? I said the bloody loved you. You what? You were watching. I just sucked in for a bloody beer. I've had a shit day. You were watching me. I've told you, Marie, it were a bloody accident. Don't you come here often? Oh, Christ. Marie. I love you. Oh, I know that love, Jono. Always seems to end up the same, doesn't it? We're shouting and aggro and folks staring. You're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. It's because I care about you. All them blokes looking at you. I am not your property, right? I please my bloody self! Who the hell do you think you are, anyway? Marie, I've said that now. I've said I loved you. You should be pleased to care. I care for what you're doing. Hypocrite! I know you. I've met you before. No, not me, you want Marie. Oh, Christ, Marie. I've had the bloody sack. I've had a shit day. I'm sorry, but... Well, I'm coming here and... You're taking your bloody clothes off. Go on, get out. You're a kid. You shouldn't be in here, you're not old enough. I'm warning you, Marie. You keep speaking to me like oh, that. Oh, you're what? I'm warning you, that's You're all. warning me? What? Won't be the first time that's happened to me, John. Oh. Marie, don't push me, all right? Go on, then. I'm telling you... Go I'm... on, then. Marie! Mr. Ward from work. You've uh, heard me mention it. Go your Please own. sit down. Uh, it won't take a second. Thing is, uh, a position's come up. Oh. Is that right? I need an excess. Full time. I thought they'd done away with them. Well, I was never totally in favour of that, to be honest with you. Besides, circumstances have changed. And now there's shit all over the road. Well, what do you reckon, Denise? What? Ah, all the upset that's gone on. Should have just let bygones be bygones. I mean, it hasn't been a bed of roses for either of us, has it, since I got laid off? Should I just forgive and forget? Well, I don't know, Ken. I mean, the strain you've been under. Aye, that's right. I hadn't known whether I were coming or going. What are you paying me? 147. Sorry, in Texas, a specialist job. She's joking. <laughs> yeah, besides, couldn't sleep nights thinking I were on more than the rest of the lads. It'll do. Right, that's sorted then. See you tomorrow. Lovely. Can you uh, see yourself out? You're trying to impress me. Yeah. <laughs> Rotten bastard. You want so bad, do you say?
What? Oh, it's you. Are you in? Should have called. I, I wonder whether you fancied a bite to eat. Oh, what we're celebrating? Uh, nothing. Could do with some company. Great, right. I won't be a minute. Right. <clears throat> we could phone for something. Stay in if you like. I like you. <laughs> Good. The thing is, I'm saying this because. It's not easy. But I'm not going to pretend and I'm not stopping because it's good money and I've always done it and if there was something else then maybe I would stop, but... Stop? What, what, what are you talking about? I take my clothes off. I strip. You know, in a pub. The other side of town. And I want you to know that because the chances are you'd find out eventually and at least this way you know straight away. So? So what do you think? When are you next on? Jodie Foster's film Home for the Holidays and Arnie stars in Jingle All the Way. The mind boggles. Film 96 after the interval here on BBC One. <laughs>